Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. This photo was taken just offshore from the Lee's Ferry Raft and Boat Launch located on the Colorado River. The Boat Launch is located in Glen Canyon National Recreation Area and abuts the Grand Canyon National Park just a few yards downstream from where the photo was taken. Lee's Ferry was named after John Lee, an early Mormon leader who started a ferry service to cross the river. Previous to the ferry service, the crossing was called the Paria Crossing, after the nearby Paria River. If you are a day user of the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area, you will find activities such as hiking, fishing, and boating, as well as other activities. You can see the concrete boat launch for trailered watercraft just at the upstream end of the gravel beach, but before the boat dock. The boat dock is used by visitors for tying up boats, fishing, or just getting a closer look at the water. Powered boats are allowed year-round from the boat ramp to near the base of Glen Canyon Dam, about 15.6 river miles upstream. As the view turns to the right, the Colorado River disappears around a bend upstream. Further rotation to the right brings the cliffs on the other side of the river into view. One's first impression of the Grand Canyon, at least from this point of view, might be this canyon doesn't seem so deep. In fact, there really isn't much of a canyon here. Just to the right and below the cliffs on the opposite bank, you can see a concrete tower. The tower is a water gauging station which is used by the National Park Service to determine river levels. The gauging station and the center of the river can be accessed by using the cable car that runs on the cables that cross the river. The river has a tide on an approximate 24 hour cycle based on how much water is released from Glen Canyon Dam to meet electricity needs. The normal tide change is between one and a half and two feet. Look closely up on the horizon above the truck with the red rack. You can just barely see a cell phone tower. There is decent cell phone service at Lee's Ferry and the surrounding area. Make your last phone call now because from here on there's no cell service until you complete your trip through the canyon. Having no cell service helps preserve the serenity of the canyon and your camps. Now turn to the left and downstream. On the far horizon, the Vermilion Cliffs are visible. In fact, the Vermilion Cliffs are visible from many miles away and serve as a landmark as you travel by highway to Lee's Ferry. And down on the water, just beyond the ducks, you can see a group of several rafts and kayaks departing the beach on the first leg of their river adventure. Within minutes, they will bob through Paria Rapid, their first and maybe easiest of many more to come. Look back at the gravel beach to see the one blue and two yellow rafts. The yellow rafts are 18 footers while the blue cataract is 16 feet long. These rafts are being set up for a Grand Canyon rafting adventure. It is typical to build your boats the day before launch. Building the boats includes putting air in rubber rafts, ensuring the oars and a spare are safely attached to the boat and mandatory first aid kits are available. Coolers of refrigerated food, waterproof boxes of dry food, and dry bags of personal belongings and gear are all securely strapped to the boats. The boundary between Glen Canyon National Recreation Area and Grand Canyon National Park is just about 20 yards downstream from the Blue Cataract near the point of willows jutting into the river. It is mandatory that all rafters be included on the trip leader's permit and that all be wearing approved flotation devices while on the water. On launch day, all raft trip participants must attend a safety orientation given by a national park ranger. After the orientation, it's time to launch. On the way down the river, boaters will experience the solitude of absolute quiet in the still waters and the deafening roar of giant river rapids. 
they will see all colors of the rainbow in the different rock and clay formations. They will take side trips to hike up slot canyons accessible from the river banks. Bright stars shine at night and the phases of the moon proceed on their nightly march as the trip progresses downstream during the next days and weeks. Now, let's move to the sandstone cliff above Boat Beach for a last look around before we continue our travels down the Colorado River in Grand Canyon National Park.